All right, so pretty much what we're going to do is get this to go in there and do its thing. So first, I'm just going to start from the beginning and do the whole thing. Uh, so I'm going to first have to create the joints, which of course is going to be in rigging. And then create joint. And this is going to be a, a really quick sort of thing, so I'm not going to take the time to make it perfect. So we've got that. And then we want to, we can move this out of the way. We want to create a, a CV curve or a curve in general. So let's go ahead and create CV curve tool. Like I said, I'm not even going to spend the time to make it perfect. All right, so there we go. That's pretty much all we need to make it happen. So what we want to do is select, uh, what am I trying to go for? Constraint, no. Trying to, I was trying to think what I need to. Uh, I think it's an animation. Oh, IK handle tool. Jeez. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it where everything is. Okay, there we go. And we want to make sure that the auto create curve is off because we already created a curve. And what we'll want to do is select the front or the, the first and the last. And then the curve. And that pretty much means that it is done. It has created the IK handle, which you can see in the uh, outliner here. So we know it worked. So if I go to F9, I should be able to manipulate these and it should stay together. So we should be good with that. And then what we want to do is connect it up with the chain. So we'll probably. Just get this to line up. I'm just going to bring the chain down and try to match it up as best I can with it. That looks good enough. All right, so then we want to constrain it or uh, bind the skin. And I'm just going to check that and make sure. So bind to joint hierarchy, uh, skinning method, dual quaternion, something like that. And yeah, that's, I think those are the two things that you need to change from the default. So we want to select the mesh and shift click the joints. I can click it in there. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. Find skin. And now, I believe if we go to, oh, that's, I want that. We should be able to yeah, manipulate it. So that shows that it is connected with the joints. And then to get it to go along the motion path, we want to, in the outliner, to make sure that we get it right, we want to select the curve. It'll probably be curve two, two for you, or curve three, however many you have. And we'll probably want to center that. All right. And then now that we have the curve highlighted, we want to also shift click the motion path. And constrain, 
motion paths attached to motion path. And we should be able to keep it as default. If you want to go slow, kind of slow, you can uh, have the start time be one and then the end time be like a thousand. Uh, I'll just keep it to this time slider because it doesn't really matter. And then this front and up axis will matter to you. Uh, your front will be the, the direction it's going with the path, which uh, for me would be the X. And the up will be what's up. And that would be Y for me. U, on the other hand, is Z. So you might want to select that to make it uh, work with your environment. Then make sure everything's right and apply. And if we scrub through it, looks like it stays on. And for the curves, it doesn't seem to be wrapping around it. So we will have to add the flow uh, object uh, or flow path object, whatever it is. So making sure that we select curve two for the curve that is uh, for the joints, we want to also shift click the motion path and go back to constraint and then a flow path object. And for the uh, divisions for the front, it's pretty much play with it until you get it right. Um, for something small like this, I'm guessing 35 will work. For your chains, I was using 625. And you, you could bump that up even more to make, make it so it uh, wraps around the curve even better. So it's, it's something that you can just play with and try it out. But 35 should work with this case. You can see it kind of already curved. And minimize all this. And if we scrub through it, it looks like it goes right around the curve perfectly. It looks really good. I love it. It's so fun to figure this out. I'm so glad it's done. But that is how you do it. So hopefully this will help you in your coming upcoming animation extravaganzas.